what's up everyone welcome back to my channel it's me your girl leah lee glam by leah lee all of the above and today i have a really really educational fun video in store for everybody if this is your first time clicking on this video first time clicking on my channel and the first time seeing my face thank you so much for clicking here welcome to the family go ahead and click the subscribe button turn on your notifications thumbs up this video sit back grab a snack and a drink and do not forget to enjoy this video So I had a couple guys reach out to me in the comments and DMs asking about me putting out a video that educates them more on their skin, educates them more on how to choose specific skincare for them, and just overall more tips on how to take care of their skin. I think the best place to start there are the hormones. The testosterone hormone is what determines the masculine characteristics of male skin. So understanding that as a whole is a better start at understanding your skin and maybe as an esthetician, your male client's skin. Three common characteristics of male skin is that their skin is typically thicker than women's. It is also oilier than women's and it ages at a slower rate because their skin contains more collagen. So ladies, stop letting these men stress you out. It is making us look much older at the same age. So we, we can't have that. These men have, you know, somewhat of an upper hand when it comes to the skincare life. We know that typically we can look at our fathers, our uncles, our cousins, or younger brothers and be like, oh, you always had the best skin and now look what I have to go through. So we are all very familiar with that and, you know, maybe seeing that family member who has always had the longer eyelashes, just better characteristics overall sometimes versus what women pay so much money for. Fellas, if you shave your beard, shave any facial hair, be sure to shave in the direction that your hair grows. You may have heard in the contrary that you don't shave in the way that your hair grows, but please do so. And I know in different parts of your facial hair, the hair can kind of switch direction. Just take your time, shave or clip it, lower the hair exactly in the direction that the hair is growing in. Another tip to remember is change your blades every three to four days. If you are a weekly or bi-weekly shaver, be sure to make sure that your clippers are, uh, you pat your clippers dry or your blade, your razor dry once you're done shaving. Make sure you clean it. Keep everything nice and disinfected as possible. Shaving also creates a higher risk of infection and irritation. So that's when pseudofolliculitis appears, which are razor bumps, ingrown hairs, that type of situation that a lot of us are familiar with and we want to use products that are mild and soothing and also have antibacterial properties to lower the risk of irritation so when choosing skincare products fellas you do want something that's a nice gentle exfoliant especially if you aren't the type that shaves on a weekly or bi-weekly basis fellas you need to exfoliate and not only use shaving or any hair removal as a form of exfoliation. You need to get something that is, you know, able to penetrate deeper into the skin and also that is going to be able to calm and soothe the skin because you all know the skin can be really inflamed sometimes after hair removal. It can also be super itchy. It's just irritated all the way around. So make sure that you are using something that has maybe some calendula in it, some aloe, definitely some hyaluronic acids, some collagen. Using some anti-aging products I think would be extremely helpful. If y'all want to have a deeper evaluation of your skin, you can always book your virtual consultation with me and include it in your consultation fee. I will send you home care products that best suit your skin needs. So I definitely feel like it is a win-win situation, especially if you are not local and near me. If you are far away, that is perfect. We can have a consultation over Zoom and I will be able to help you further. I hope this was a really great informational video that was nice, short, and straight to the point. If anyone has any questions, y'all know what to do. Leave them down in the comments and I will try to get back to everybody. So thank you so much for watching this video, y'all. I'll see y'all next time.